Lesson 48, Palmento Event Solutions Project 1. Click Start. You will have the instruction file and the start file, and you need to open both. So go ahead and select both. And on your taskbar, go ahead and open up each document. This is the instruction. Go back to your taskbar into Google Chrome, and then open your blank document. So you have your instruction file. And I open this one first because I want to have my instructions on the left. Now I'll click View Side by Side, and I'll choose the one that has my name on it. That's my working document. And then if I scroll, they're both scrolling at the same time. So if I click Window, I can uncheck synchronous scrolling so that they scroll separately. So the first thing you'll notice that the document that you opened, it has your the document file name and your name, and it ends with the one, underscore one. When you're all finished typing everything and proofread it, you'll save it and just change that one to a two, and then you'll submit. So the first thing you do is um, you'll press enter three times and key the paragraph that's shown on the next page. And there are certain areas where you'll use shift enter, so I'll just scroll down there. So you'll type request for proposals, enter. This is Word wraparound. Do not hit enter to get to convention. And then the same thing for May 1st. When you type the person's name here, this is where you, you'll press down on the shift and hit enter all the way to the zip code. After the phone number, it's just a regular enter. And what the shift enter does is it keeps these lines tighter, closer together. So the first thing we need to do is press enter three times. And then we'll begin typing the everything that you see here. Continuing on to the second page of your instructions, when it's time for a table, after you type content, press enter. Then you'll choose insert table, and it'll be four columns and five rows, so four by five. And then you just start typing in each one and press tab. Even when you want to start a new row, use tab and continue. Continuing, this should go on to a third page. And right now, right click and choose remove hyperlink. And when we're ready for the number section in the paragraph group, go ahead and choose the default numbering style and continue. After you type outlining to press enter, you automatically get a number five. Press enter again and it takes you to the left margin and you can finish uh, the last two lines. So now we're going to apply the heading style uh, to the title and the headings to the side. So up at the top, request for proposal. Just be on that line, choose styles and select title and then for the side headings session descriptions just want to check which ones they are select um, session good submission hold control and guidelines and notification once they're all selected you can go to styles and choose heading one For the table, select in the table, anywhere, and you will apply the design. So click more options, and we're looking for grid table four, accent five, grid table four, accent five, and then page numbering. And the last thing is to have page numbers on the document. So the first thing you'll do is click insert, choose page number, top of page, and choose accent bar two and then go up to page one and then choose the same thing page number top of page accent bar two but remove it from this page so click different first page so it won't be on page one then I'll click down here and choose different first page so that it's not on this page so once you have it, make sure it's only on page two and not on page one, the page number. Save it with the two, and then once you go back into SendGage, go ahead and upload your file. And once you do that, you'll get a green check mark here. That just means that you named it properly. And then you'll click Submit. Once you click Submit, 
go ahead and choose graded summary report and then open up your file and you should have your results. Thank you.